Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Thursday, September 30th, 2010. Yesterday I went through the example of building up client authentication to the Google server so that you could then build client applications that use that. So I went through a little example yesterday where we got authentication and then we were able to make a simple service request. Now just to show you, I've already done this this morning, I've got an auth token again. And I can make the same request I made yesterday where I get this feed from their service and I get back just an XML file here. So I can do things with that, but let's say that I wanted to go a little further. I wanted to actually start integrating an application. I wanted to build something that got real data into Smalltalk objects. So give you an example of what I'm doing. I did something this morning where I set up to get the settings stuff. So I can go to Google and ask for settings. So I created a settings request object that encapsulates the URL that I'm going to call and sets up the request and then I can get that. And I made this a JSON request, which is why I have this JSON reader thing here where I'm reading those response into an actual object. So I'm going to make the request and then I'm going to decode all the stuff and get what I have. So let's go ahead and inspect the results of this. And you can see that I get an object here. Now let's take a look at a couple of things. Let's look at the response object itself. You can see here I've got this, I've got the 200, then I've got the content, which is relatively large, and that's because it's this stuff here. I've got the author, I've got the ID, I've got the items, which again are a bunch of things, I've got the kind, and so on. So I've got all that, uh, that stuff. But it turns out that I can make that even simpler with a little more work. So let's bring this up into the view. I can automate that whole thing by doing this, settings request or get settings for the username using the auth token, and I can get back the exact same object by doing this. And you can see here I get the settings, which are the thing I was looking at before. Now how does that all work? Well, again, I'm using the Google Client Auth package that I built yesterday, and then all I really needed to do was build this settings request object here to, to specify the initial data. So I have the URL that I'm doing, and see here the user ID? That's where I had to use this customized request that I put into copy replace and user ID with my own user that I'm passing in. And then the method for this one is get. So I had to add this object, customize the request a little bit, that's where I would also customize with URL arguments if I needed to. So you can see that these request objects should be more complicated. You could handle more than a single request. You could make constructors that had them handle various things. I just have a very simple example here. And then finally I built this guy here to do all of this stuff for me so that I can set up the request, make the service request, see if the request came back. If it's nil, obviously it didn't work. And then decode everything into that and stuff it into the settings instance variable. That's the basics of this. How did I get all this stuff? Well, I built an abstract calendar object here, and I just had this guy decode from JSON. And that just has the very simple thing of doing a JSON request here where I do a JSON reader read from the response contents read stream. And that gives me back a dictionary, in some cases a dictionary of dictionaries. So you get back a whole bunch of stuff, and then you just have to unpack it. And I'm not going to go through the details of that. You know as well as I do how to unpack a dictionary into an object. It's pretty trivial. But I got these objects. So I have this abstract one to just have this basic from method. And then I have the author, I have the item, and the baseline settings that holds all of this stuff. So I just unpack those and then I get a domain object. And that gives you the basics of how you could take something like this basic stuff that I built yesterday, the general ability to get an auth token, and then start building out an application using an arbitrary Google service so long as you know which one it is. Here it's the calendar service, so I'm obviously calling that and building an example off it. But it could be any Google API that requests authentication. So it's better for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.